A movie about the criminal justice system taking center stage at the SCAD Savannah Film Festival. Clemency is inspired by the execution of Savannah's Troy Davis. News 3's Danny Dykes joins us live from downtown Savannah with how crew members hope the film will impact viewers. Hello, Danny. Hey, good evening. Well, the writer says the film is not about the Troy Davis case, but rather uses pieces to create a bigger picture. And she says it's not for the moviegoer to decide whether the inmate should live or die, but look at the uh, impact that the executions have on a society. A feature at the 2019 SCAD Savannah Film Festival is turning back time to spark new conversations about our criminal justice system. The morning after his execution, I, like so many other people around the world, were grappling with all kinds of emotions and thoughts about his execution. Clemency is inspired by the historic execution of Troy Davis. The Savannah man was found guilty of killing police officer Mark McPhail in 1989. Some had serious doubts about Davis's conviction. He maintained his innocence up until his last breath. And I just kept thinking about that question. What must it be like for those who had to kill him? Clemency is about a prison warden whose years of carrying out death row executions are starting to take its toll. I am going to fight for him right up until the very moment you stick that needle in his arm. The warden ends up connecting with this character, an inmate she is sanctioned to kill. You know, look. As a black man in America, we know we go through a lot of things with this art. We try to, to host a conversation that can help progressively change some of those issues that we face. The film shows how incarcerations affect inmates, families, and the prison workers. People really just come out of this film having a newfound perspective of what empathy and mercy is. Replicating moments from the time surrounding Troy Davis's execution, the writer-director hopes to motivate moviegoers to consider a different perspective. The word I am, in part, kind of shows that we are all connected and tied to the incarceration of this particular individual because it, the prison industrial complex reaches all of us. I want to humanize the lives that exist behind prison walls. I want to explore the complexities of humanity of people, regardless of innocence or guilt. I hope that this film can inspire people to not define people by their worst possible acts. The film is already receiving positive reaction from critics and even generating some Oscar buzz. If you'd like to learn more about the film and the original case, just go to our website, wsav.com slash film festival. Live in downtown Savannah, Danny Dykes, WSAV News 3.